There it is. There it is. you guys it's your girl Ashley Nate back again with another freaking video how are you guys doing today hi <laughs> so today we are talking about love languages as you guys see in the title down below and I will also mention my love language if you didn't watch my Q&A but you should still watch my Q&A so go watch it so we'll talk about my love languages today and we'll just talk about love languages in general what they mean what you think you have and ways that you can figure out your love language because it's interesting that a lot of people don't know about love languages even though queen naja has a song about it and literally people are talking about this like this is a thing that people talk about can you read my love language <laughs> I love that song. So before we get into this video, you guys already know you guys gotta like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell at the top so you get notified every time I post a new video, and I would give you time to do that now. Are you guys done? Thank you. You guys already know it does a lot for me, and it also does a lot for you guys because you guys get to keep seeing me. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. So, love languages. Let's just talk about it. There's a book out there that's called Love Languages by Gary Chapman. He has a couples version, he has a singles version, a man version, a family version, and also a friend version. A lot of people have this misconception that love languages are only for couples. That is not the case at all. You have a love language with anyone that you love. Like literally, that's what it is. It's your love language for anything, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your best friend, your homie, your peep, your significant other, your dog, your cat, like you have love languages for your children, everybody. Like it's how you choose to love and what you perceive to be love. Today, we're gonna actually talk about five of the love languages. I'm not here to tell you like, oh, this is your love language, anything of the sort like that, but I'm just here to inform you of what these love languages are. And you can get the book. Here's the book right here by Gary Chapman if you want to read more about the five love languages. Naturally, nay, why does it matter? It matters for a lot of different reasons. If you love a certain way or you don't even know what your love language is and you keep going out and you're like, why can't I find a guy? Or why doesn't this person love me? Or why doesn't my mom love me? Well, do you know their love language? Because maybe they do love you, but they're showing you in the way that they know how. Sometimes it's not even about your love language. It's about other people's love language. A lot of people get in relationships or a lot of people will have bad ties with their family members because they think that their family members don't love them but is it that they don't love you or you just can't see what they're doing that they're showing that loves you some people can't express things as openly as some and some people can't express it at all so it's like you have to go through the nitty-gritty now I'm not saying it's always correct I feel like everyone is a working progress and you should work on yourself every day I'm not saying that for you to use it as a cripple or an excuse but I'm just saying don't quit a situation so quickly without you knowing all the facts and if you know their love language and you know how they love then now you're seeing oh so they have been loving me but this is the way they know how and if you're not okay with that then just communicate it and tell them what your love language is and then you guys can work together to fix that bond or fix that mend or fix that relationship so your girl naturally nay is here to help you with that today and we're going to talk about the five love languages but it's up to you to go take the test and read the book on your own i personally didn't read the book but i know enough the love languages are physical touch words of affirmation quality time acts of service and gift giving okay so those are the five so with physical touch as a love language it's not always i want to have mm -mm. it's literally what it says it's physical touch like if you hold hands with that person in public that shows that you're being loved on or whatever or if they brush against your shoulder if they're reading the newspaper and they're just touching your hand or if you're just in their presence where you can just cuddle with them or lay with them netflix and chill like those are all situations where physical touch shows you you're in love not saying that you know what is not in that category but a lot of people have this misconception that you know what is the only physical touch that you can get and that's not the case some people love showering people with kisses a lot of people love like just hugging touching a lot of people claim that in this society as clingy but is it clingy or is it just that that's how they show they appreciate you and how much they love you now I feel like all of us have a certain percentage 
up physical touch in there but some people's percentages are higher than others which will make them seem clingy but in reality they're not clingy it's just that that's how they know how to love so that's physical touch if that is your love language the next love language is words of affirmation words of affirmation is literally it's just someone telling you i love you i appreciate you i'm proud of you i accept you for who you are i'm here to help you like any words of encouragement or love or care or concern are words of affirmation because it's your partner or your family member telling you that hey i'm here i understand what you're going through i want you to know i love you i care for you and i will always be here those words alone will touch the person's heart who loves words of affirmation also some people have the saying show me don't tell me but with words of affirmation it's the opposite tell me okay not saying you don't want to be seen but telling the person reassuring the person that you love them every day is beneficial to them like literally all these memes and tiktoks of people like you love me you love me you love me like i know it sounds annoying and of course it's a joke but there are people out there like that who need the reassurance yes i love you yes i care for you yes i need you in my life there are people on the phone you call them and you hang up the phone and don't say i love you they're gonna remember that because those little things add up and they're understanding in their brain that if you don't say it then you don't mean it and you don't love me in that very second which is not okay for them like words of affirmation are said all the time it is very crucial so that is words of affirmation not to make it sound crazy or anything but it's literally just communicating to your partner that you love them you care for them and you'll always be there for them that's it that's all plus i feel like every relationship should be saying that anyways if you're not saying it then maybe maybe this is a wake-up call bro or sis on to the next the next love language would be acts of service so acts of service a lot of people paint it in a marriage scene but it's really not like of course it tells you like getting a chore off of their chest like if you come home from work early and they're still out cook dinner for them make up their bed do this or the third clean up around the house because those are tasks that they had to do that now you've taken off their plate that's what acts of service is something that your partner has to do or your family member has to do and instead of them coming home with another burden you take care of that burden so they don't have to worry about it you're literally lifting things off of their chest that's acts of service like you're showing you care they want to go errand running either you go for them or you go with them to show them that they're there if you want to fill up their gas tank if you want to help them do a task if they have a project due or a deadline due and you help them with that project or deadline that is literally acts of service you're showing your partner that hey i'm here to help you with whatever you need me to help you with like that's literally what acts of service is and they appreciate that stuff because they're like wow like he didn't have to do this this had nothing to do with him or this had nothing to do with her but yet he still took or she still took time out to do this for me that's how i know he loves me so next <laughs> next is quality time which everybody's like naturally next quality time you have to see your partner you do a lot of people don't have time though when you're grown up and you go to work and you work long hours a lot of people don't make enough quality time with their being just being in a room with someone is not quality time quality time is undivided attention with your significant other i personally feel like if you're watching netflix or if you're walking or whatever the case may be like that's quality time but the book version is nothing else, no distractions, just you and your partner. A lot of people will sit in bed with their significant other, be on their phone, and the person will be like, babe, we never do anything, or babe, we never spend quality time. And that person will sit there and say, hey, we are spending quality time, but you're not because you're letting your phone alter your time with that person. Quality time is uninterrupted time together, whether you're eating at a dinner, whether you're sitting by a fireplace, whether you're walking in a park, whether you're just sitting on the stump and just talking, like quality time is you and that individual by yourselves talking. But I personally feel like sitting with the person watching TV or cooking with that individual, I feel like those are all other traits of quality time even though there is another thing in place that's happening i feel like that's quality time next next is gift giving so gift giving a lot of people also have a misconception that that means you're materialistic you like a lot of nice things you're bougie no that's not what gift giving is of course yes gift giving can cause money but not all the time okay you can write a letter to your significant other and that could be a gift you could 
buy your significant other millions of flowers or millions of watches or cars or whatever but the key part of gift giving is it has to have a meaning to it a symbol a meaning a feeling behind it if it does not it doesn't count you're just throwing nice things at a person now gift giving is when you give something because you care you thought about that person you were gone in japan for a long time and you brought that person a souvenir the fact that you thought about that person in japan and brought them something back home because you cared that much to spend your money in japan where you're having fun but had time to think about this person bring it all the way back just to give to that person shows that you care and that's how the person who has the love language of gift giving will see it you had time out of your day to make time for me not only make time for me, but also write me something or buy me something and didn't even stop there. You didn't question it. You bought it. You didn't like think and then was like, oh, I won't do it. You bought it and you brought it back to me and presented it in a loving way. That is all amazing to them. Like, that's just like, oh my God, like you really care about me. Like enough where money, time and you're having fun or your entertainment is not altering your feelings for me like that's what i'm saying things tie into each other like some dudes pay for their girl's hair to get done that's acts of service and a gift because you know that's the task they had to do but it's also a gift that you're giving them because that's money that they didn't have to spend that you're now giving them because you care you see what i'm saying so gift giving is definitely important as well that is all five of the like descriptions of what they are but i personally feel like everyone should have a certain amount of everything and when you take the test i feel like you'll see that too like it's not like you're all one category you're always going to be divided into the five but it's how much do you have in each five like are you more of a words of affirmation person are you more of a gift giver are you more of this do it for yourself and also do it for your partner here's why i say that when you do your love language test that doesn't tell you how to treat your partner that tells you what you love what you love to receive when your partner does it as well that tells you what they love to receive so now they should take your test and you should take their test and you guys should implement it for each other like literally that's what you're doing when i took my test so access service was number one words of affirmation and gift giving tie for number two i think they were both 20 percent then it was quality time and then physical touch so physical touch i had the least physical touch i love physical touch i'm not saying i don't but because of the society we live in which i did touch on in my q a the society we live in makes physical touch is like that's the only thing that's important about a female let me touch her let me grab her butt let me kiss on her let me hug her let me touch her hair let me have mm -mm with her and then that's it i don't like that so because of that i know that my physical touch was going to be low i care for stimulating conversation i care for someone to actually engage in a debate or a conversation or let's talk about our feelings or whatever the case may be let's do something together like all of those rest of the aspects like reassuring me getting something off my plate spending quality time together on date night or doing an activity we've never done before you know i'm just saying like every percentage is different and it just shows you what this person cares about more i definitely feel like everyone is all five in some way shape or form but definitely take the test there's an app i want you guys to get it's called nudge this is how, how the app looks um it's on app store and i think google play or whatever galaxies you use i'm sorry i'm an apple person just get in tune with your love language because it can also help you personally with a lot of things a lot of people feel like they're broken a lot of people feel like they're not worthy of love but it's not really the case if you know yourself more and you know what you're drawn to more or what you care for more then you can benefit better in life and a key fact or a note a lot of times when you're in a relationship even if you don't know your love language you tend to do things for the other person that you want done for yourself if you see that you're always buying gifts for a person that's because you always like gifts that's not saying you're the person who's like hey i'm buying you this i want this in return no it's not like that but it is just very observational to see that when you're doing something if you like going on trips all the time if you like buying things for a person then that's nine times out of ten what you would want someone to do for you if you're always saying i love you and i care for you and i and expressing and communicating your love for the person nine times out of ten you want that person to do the same thing to you so it's very interesting i am an acts of service person a words of affirmation person and a gift giver i love giving gifts to other people i love expressing myself to other people and i love helping someone in a way that i know how to help so the fact that i was doing all that already and then i looked at my love language and it was saying hey this is how you love and this is how you want to be treated is like whoa whoa i didn't know that so definitely just take into account of that 
definitely take the test i know i've been here for a long time i thought this was a very good topic to talk about because a lot of people don't know about love languages and again it's not just your significant other it can mend a lot of relationships your mother and your relationship your father and your relationship sisters brothers uncles cousins friends best friends and there's books as well gary chapman makes books about all of these but if you just want a simpler answer get them to take the test boo and you take the test as well and then just see where to work it out from there so i hope that helped you guys. I hope I gave you guys all that you could get from love languages. I'm sorry if I left something out, but definitely I gave you guys the resources to research yourself. So I'm done. I'm gonna let it go. You already know the drill. It's your girl, Nashley Nay. Remember to go slay and pray and have a good freaking day. All right? I love you guys. Bye.